Look at that little small mouth hiding under a log up there. Bella, you're not getting this fish. So what's up guys, we are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there and subscribe. Ring the notification bell and like this video so I can put my dad's hat off. Why would you do that? Well, Houston's in a funky mood today. So we're gonna be at the creek fishing today. The sand bass run's probably over. The creek's gone down. We caught hundreds of sand bass, white bass. You guys get on to me for calling them sand bass. But uh, we got a special guest today, a, a creek fishing legend, I guess you could say. The guy has built an entire career around fishing in creeks around the country. So this is John from Creek Fishing Adventures on YouTube. Yep. And uh, literally, he has built an entire YouTube channel around creek fishing. So you need to go check it out. It's called Creek Fishing Adventures on YouTube, Instagram, you know, Facebook? Yep. Facebook, all the social media places. Yep. And he literally just started fishing creeks around where he's from in Tennessee, yep. right? And has like just, he travels around and fishes creeks all over the place. And actually we missed him. He wasn't creek fishing, but the last time we were in Pensacola, we missed you by like, yeah. what, one or two days yeah. or something? I was leaving the day over there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what are the odds? He just happened to know some people there and was fishing the beach and catching some little bitty fish like we do too. So. <laughs> But we're gonna do some creek fishing today and uh, we'll check out the swimming hole real quick and see if there's any sand bass left in it. I'm guessing they've all went back downstream to the lake, but uh, I know there's gonna be some bass and some bluegill and some red ears and all kinds of sunfish. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna have some fun wading the creek and uh, dodging snakes. Sure does. Looks like something got a hold of his side. Yeah, look at look at the See, something tried to eat him. Look like a gar or something almost. Both sides of it. That's pretty crazy. Going to help you. Throwing back upstream since we're on the dam here. Yeah. That way he don't go back down to the lake necessarily. Yeah. That's far enough. Woo! I told you it was cold. Just try it right here. Throw over towards the shade a little bit. Well, you threw plum up in the grass. There you go. Throw, throw towards that shade right back there. I don't know if there's any fish in that hole right now or not, but there could be. So the sand bass run is for sure over, at least for now, until if we get another big rain and get the creek up and get it nice and muddy, the sand bass will come up here and they'll at least come feed. They may spawn a little bit more, but uh, there's not any sand bass left. That's That catching a fish ever cast thing is, uh, is over. We had fun while it lasted, but uh, We've caught two really nice little bass so far. We just come down to check it out. We're gonna work our way up the creek today and hit some holes, try to find some clearer water and uh, maybe take you guys to some places you hadn't even seen on the creek ever on our channel. But uh, John does a lot of creek fishing on his channel and this is right up his alley. So I'm excited to have him here and who knows what all we'll catch. It's gonna be a small fish day probably. There's not a lot of big bass in the creek, but it's still fun and it's pretty. Hey, there you got one. Another large mouth? A spot. There's a spot. I was just digging along this uh, edge right here. There's a bunch of little fish down there. Yep. He must have came out from the rock and just hammered it. So that ledge right underneath this kind of cuts back under a little oh, yeah. ways. A little bit of an undercut. I think there was another one following it. Did you find a snake?
What's the matter? Um, I was standing right by a freaking snake. Woo, this water is still cold. Houston walked right up on a snake. Look at this. So the water temperature is really cold and today is the first really bright sunshiny day we've had in a few days. So these snakes are uh, thick right now. At the Arm Family Homestead Ranch. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some creek fishing and of course the star of the show, Houston over here. Everybody knows Houston. And I know, I know a lot of y'all watching, I uh, know that I've watched their channel. And a lot of y'all already watched their channel. And if you don't know who you're Houston, Hey, got one. Look at that giant. Look at there. Hey, we're gonna catch a lot of little fish today. That's all right. Better leave yourself some more slack so you can get him off. Oh, something's hitting my jig. You think he's trying to show you how you uh, were able to uh, come up with that fish? Give us a breakdown, play by play. Made, I just made the perfect cast, and I knew he was going to be there, and he hammered it. Just like I thought. That's pretty much it. Or you just, you just threw it in the water and he hit it, huh? Yeah. Earl, you're supposed to be a house dog. Mom said you were going to be her house dog. And every time I turn around, you're at the creek with us. You're not supposed to be a creek dog. That's Bella's job. What you got this time, Houston? Same thing as last time, huh? Yep. That water is chilly. Drop it in the water beside her. Oh! oh. <laughs> that didn't work out, did it? No. Yeah, typically, this stretch of the creek is just almost crystal clear. You can see four or five feet down in the water, but that big rain come through, which it was great because it cleaned the creek out. It was getting pretty mossy, but it's not quite cleared up all the way yet, has it? Because we're not keeping them right now. You're not putting it in your pond. Earl, no. Uh-uh. Earl, no. You're going to have to learn. No. Let's see. Hold him up. Got a big red ear sunfish? Or is it... I guess that's what he is. Maybe a hybrid of some sort. Yeah. Why is the mouth so small? Yeah, the red ears have a smaller mouth. You know what? Old Richard Gene, the fishing machine, calls them shell crackers. I'll come back and catch you one other day. And put you in my big fish pond. Oh, man. I'm watching my camera and threw right up in that tree. Yeah, I was looking down at my GoPro when I chunked it. Oh, I lost that one. Yep. I'm going to have to break it off, Houston. Houston, why'd you throw my lure way up in that tree? Well, somebody did. No, just kind of some ripples when the water was lower. Not really a falls. I'd almost guarantee there was a bass in that hole. Yeah, it's a pretty deep little hole. Oh, I got your line. You threw right next to mine while I go. Passed up there in front of Bella. Oh, he went right by. That's a small mouth for sure. Yeah, that was a decent little bass. It's just, it's too late. That's the thing is your green sandwich are so greedy. They run and get your yep. before the bass forget it. <laughs> Bella wants a bite, don't she? <laughs> 
I'd like to have seen somebody catch that little smallmouth. <laughs> Earl, did it get deep on you, buddy? Who is it, Bella? I didn't even hook him in the mouth. Got him on the side of the head. He swiped at it and missed. Oh, in the water. Houston, we're gonna walk up the creek, buddy. You're not gonna fish anymore at all? No, I gotta carry a camera and a fishing pole. You don't have to, you can just walk with us or stay behind us because we're gonna fish, okay? Oh, that was not where I'm gonna throw. Yeah, he didn't get the hook. He tried. Earl, you just gotta learn to swim better, buddy. That may be the best I've been up three months. Ooh, yeah, a little smallmouth. Oh, it is. Or, oh, that's a mama. Or, I don't know. Maybe a hybrid. Yeah, that one almost looks like a mean mouth. Can we get that? Gets that little fish, though. Hang on, let me get him off the hook. That's Looky a, there. That's a... Me and my underarm GoPro mount here. You like that? <laughs> that's how you do it when you know you're professional, right? <laughs> get that pretty little fish, Houston. Here, that's, hang on. That's gotta be a mama. Spotted bass color too. Don't let Bella have that little bass. Let him go. Good one. She's on it. I got her. Oh, she's in my foot. Oh thanks, my for, thanks for holding my fish for me, Houston. You giving up on fishing? Oh. No, I just, I just wanted to. You just want to get wet, huh? Yeah. It's getting pretty warm today. It, it, it feels, actually, it doesn't feel bad probably to jump in the creek. The water's pretty chilly to me. I'm, I'm going to do it, but I mean, it's not I mean, super Houston could. Super bad. Might go under in the middle. Look at that big old bass right there. Oh, yeah. Small. Hey, it's bigger than the one you got. That's right. Because uh, you done put your fishing pole down. Come on. Here, you can help me. You can be my. Fisherman's assistant. Hey, are we going back down this that way? Well, we will because we have to come back and get the buggy. Okay, good because my fish pole is right there. Okay. Dang. Come on, fisherman's assistant. In the last video, you said you were the best fisherman in the world. No, I did not. Yeah, you did. Nice one, Houston. Thanks. I'm the best fisherman in the world. I'm the best fisherman in the world. Nana is, oh. the, Nana is the queen, the queen of getting her lure stuck. Hey. Yeah. Let him go. Well, huh? I sure did let him he go. got away. Where are you going to switch up to? Little rebel teeny R, little one. That would be perfect for these little fish. Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, my favorite lure on this creek of all time was was just like that but the grasshopper the creek hopper yep that's my that is that's like one of my go-to's but that was, uh, uh, i have two of them in there right now <laughs> I'd, I'd use them so long the hooks would all be rusted and broke off yeah. you'd have one or two you know because when i was a kid i'd save up my money they were three or four dollars back then yeah. seemed like and, i remember having one when i was like six or seven and i didn't know what it was but I just, I had that, I remember having it and I couldn't figure out what it was. And then 20 years later that I went and started buying them in yep. fishing creeks. Yep. And I just, I love the way they're so fun to fish with. Those tiny little treble hooks with them little <laughs> sunfish. I mean, you can catch the tiniest little fish yep. on them. <laughs> Swim, Gemma. <laughs> Earl, it's your turn. Come on, Earl. Come on, Come on buddy. Yeah. Come on, Earl. 
He's just not quite brave enough yet, is he? Don't throw him in. So pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Gorgeous little fish. What the heck? Hey, there's a wheel, Houston. <laughs> oh, look at this. What is this? It's a rock. No, but what is that color? White. In it. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I'm not a rock expert. Did you lose your wheel? Wheel's falling off. Yeah, it's quite a bad. You got a fan club. <laughs> They're waiting. <laughs> I'm gonna get this tiny hook out. Dad, look. There we go. This is a perfect clutch. Uh, I'll catch one bigger. Yeah, I think it's a little spot of bass. I'll catch one bigger than that. Good. Watch. Perfect. Really. We walked up, John said, looks like a bass spot. He was right. Oh, that's our first true smallmouth, looks like. Bella, get back. Bella, get back. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's a pretty fish right there. Those dudes are so strong. Spot totally different than a spotted bass or a black bass. But that's a good size one for up here too. Look at there. Look at that little small mouth hiding under a log up there. Bella, you're not getting this fish. No, Bella. There he goes. We've got him. Hey, Houston, you're messing up our fishing hole. Oh, good. Yes, stay back away from the creek. Oh, yeah, he followed it all the way up. Look how colorful that one is. Sure is. Can I keep that one? No, we're not it's keeping them. like a bluish tint. Yeah, he's got some like... Really pretty blue on his uh, fins and stuff, yeah. huh? And it looks it's like she was like shining in the water when he was coming up. It's a blue eared. swim in a minute. Dang! You're slamming slam them. Sometimes people go to these little creeks and they only throw small lures. Yeah. Sometimes a little bit bigger bass, not that that's a giant, but sometimes that's the bigger ones want something a little bit deeper. Here's the little dead sucker. Earl, you're the one that went over there. He'll learn to swim over. He can swim. There you go. Come on, Earl. Don't make me have to go swimming for you. Kick your back feet. Come on, Doug. <laughs> Come on, Earl. <laughs> you gotta learn to swim better than that, son. <laughs> Come on, Earl. Come on. That rock slick. He's like a kid the first time trying to swim. He just. <laughs> <laughs> This is his first first year of creek life. He'll figure it out. Creek life brand? No, just Earl's first year of living around the creek. I think this is a portion of the creek that I haven't ever showed on the YouTube channel. So actually we're not on my property right now. This is my neighbors, but they're relatives of mine. So. We've got access to a lot larger stretch of this creek than what we actually own because family owns upstream from me and then downstream from me is uh it's public hunting and fishing area it's part of the national park so anyone can access it so we've got probably a mile and a half of creek that we really have access to even though we don't own it all but 
this is this is a really pretty stretch of creek and it's kind of neat with all the big rock formation Houston's wanting to go rock climbing but I won't let him because I don't want to carry him home we're a long ways from the house and uh, it's just a nice deep stretch I would imagine I'm just guessing here speculating but I would think a couple hundred years ago when pioneers were here or even before that when Native Americans lived in this area I would think this was probably a deep area of the creek it's probably even deeper before the lake was built so our lakes a man-made lake and I've known or I've learned from talking to some of the older folks around here that this creek used to be a lot deeper because the lake slows the water down allows the creek to silt in and fill in but this this hole here is probably still some some of it's six foot deep a lot of it's four or five feet deep and I would imagine this was probably a very popular area for people you know the camp and stuff up because it's kind of a flat area up there and just a, a good spot on the creek i bet it's been used for hundreds of years it's like there's either a little drainage or a, a little small spring coming out of the side of this rock hill right here it may just be drainage water coming down through the rocks but it could be a spring this creek's a natural spring it's really pretty man well, we made it back to the buggy, and uh, I think Houston's exhausted. He wasn't even supposed to be here today, but he kind of played hooky from school today. So he woke oh, up and I... had a really bad headache. I'm not saying he was faking. Yeah. He had a really bad headache. I think it was a sinus infection and allergies, and I don't think he slept good last night. So he stayed home, and uh, he may have known that we were going fishing in the creek today ahead of time. I'm not, not saying he was playing hooky, but uh, he managed to stay home and go fishing in the creek with us today and we caught a lot of different fish i mean i don't know how many species we caught three different kinds of bass and what four or five different yeah. kinds of sunfish and everything in between yeah. and uh, nothing giant but we know out here yeah, fishing nice. the creek yeah nice. houston found a cool rock you just never know what you're going to catch and it's just fun getting out here doing what i did as a kid this is what i grew up doing when i was this guy's age i was out here wading the creek and uh fighting the snakes for the fish and it's a lot of fun but anyways john will have a video on his channel creek fishing adventures and uh, i don't know what all he's going to show on there but it'll be a little bit different than what we put out and he's got a ton his whole channel is built around this this type stuff not obviously not the exact same creek but this is what he does he travels all around and hits all the different creeks around the country and he said he had a goal of fishing in every creek and public access creek and lake that he could get into yeah. in tennessee <laughs> So all kinds of little small bass and sunfish and he does some catfish and a little bit of everything. So if you're into fishing or you're into creek life, go check his channel out, Creek Fishing Adventures. Anything you want to say? Tired? Yeah. I like that Pensacola Beach shirt you got there. Thanks. You want to wrap this video up for us? Sure. You look tired. I am. <laughs> you sound bring, tired. Bring the energy. Yeah. yeah. Bring it. You got to bring it. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you didn't. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.